Hey guys, just coming with a question to you. I'm looking at this tire. I have the donut tire on my Jeep. This is my Jeep. I'm sitting in the garage. And um, I had a flat tire. I had a, my sensor light came, out, came on on Sunday. And excuse the noise, I have fans going on. I'm sitting in the garage, I'm cleaning up. So I, my sensor light came out, came on, said low tire pressure on Sunday. So I figured on Monday I'm going to take the car in and, and see what's going on so they can put some air in the tire. On Monday morning, I wake up to a flat tire. So I couldn't get uh, put air in it because the air thing was broke at the gas station. So I had to have someone put the donut on for me. A stranger did it for me, a nice little young guy. So anyway, I got a tire on it. The car place that I bought these brand new tires from on July 1st, couldn't find the reason for the flat. They kept the tire all Monday. Today is Tuesday. I still haven't got my tire back. And Monday I called them. They said they were going to call me back within an hour. An hour should have been around 11 o'clock a.m. yesterday. I didn't get a call back, so I called them on at 4 o'clock. they still trying to figure out what happened. So now today I get a call. And they're saying, there's nothing wrong with the tire. It's not a defective tire. What's bad is my tire pressure sensor. And so that's more money for me to spend to get another tire. Not another tire, but the tire pressure sensor. So tell me what you think about that. Leave me a comment. Thanks. And here's my Sheba. She wants to say hi. She's following me or bothering me. Anyway, there she is. But leave me a comment. Tell me what you think. And why couldn't... How does a tire pressure sensor make a tire go flat? That's what I want to know. Thanks.